D5 Venture Capital Fund's founder had 1.7 million US dollar worth of NFT stolen. On Tuesday, Arthur Chong, the founder of Defiance Capital, a private equity fund focused on decentralized finance, had over $1.7 million in non-fungible tokens stolen from his cryptocurrency wallet. Well, this hit me hard, but if I got exploited as a fairly sophisticated 5-year crypto users, we are not sure how we can persuade most ordinary folk to put a significant portions of their net worth on sequence anymore," Chong wrote in a now-deleted tweet. In today's video, we are digging into the latest news about 1.7 million US dollar of stolen NFTs from a personal wallet of D5 founder. But before we begin, subscribe and stay tuned for more. Chung's cryptocurrency wallet was targeted because it was a hot wallet or one that was hooked up on the internet rather than a cold or hardware wallet. Because they can be stored offline, cold wallets are thought to be a safer option. While no option is completely secure, hardware wallets are suggested as a better option for storing crypto assets. According to PackShield, each NFT stolen belonged to a popular or valuable collections and included 5 clone X, 2 Subasa, 17 Azuki, 2 Hedgies, as well as 33 second self NFTs. Chong stated on Twitter that the likely root cause of the exploit is a recent spear phishing email he received. Chong clicked because the email appeared to be from one of Defiance Capital's portfolio companies. However, by opening the file attached to the email, the hacker could obtain his seed phrase or password and gain access to his cryptocurrency wallet. Was being careless on this one because it comes from two seemingly legitimate sources, Chong wrote on Twitter. Defiance Capital invests primarily in DeFi and Web3 gaming platforms. According to its website, its portfolio includes some of its biggest names. Aave, a popular DeFi protocol that allows users to earn attentions by lending and borrowing crypto, Axie Infinity, a well-known gaming platform, and Cosensys, an Ethereum software company are included, although this type of hack is not uncommon. Chong tweeted that he didn't expect this to happen to me. Chong declined to comment when contacted by Fortune, stating that it is not the best time now. Here are some points you need to know about this hack. The hacker's wallet now contains approximately 585 ETH that can be traced back to Chong's wallet. According to Chong, the amount could rise further because the hacker would seems to be in the process of transferring funds. According to the Defiance founder, the hacker used a sphere phishing email to install malware on his device, which derived the seed phrase from his cryptocurrency wallet. He also included a screenshot of the email. Find out the likely root cause of the exploit. It's a targeted social engineering attack, Chong tweeted. I received an email that appears to have been sent by one of our ports with content that appears to be generally industry relevant. The hacker took on one of the top stars in DeFi, but as Chong warned, you mess with the wrong person. The crypto community rallied to his aid, assisting him in recovering the stolen items as he requested that the hacker's wallet be blocked. Several people on Twitter have tried to figure out how the hack happened and where the hacker got access to his wallet. Cyrus, a member of the NFT community, went so far as to purchase two of the stolen Azuki NFTs and decide to return them to Arthur at his expense. He discovered they were managed to hack and rather than selling them for profit like the other folks who got some of this, I decided I'd sell them back to him at a cost to help him out. Cyrus explained. Now let's get into some tips on preventing your wallet from getting hacked. You can make several wallets. Technically, you can create an infinite number of crypto wallets to hold and customize your digital assets, but managing many of them would be difficult. We classified that cold wallets are a wonderful safe way to store your digital assets. They keep your assets offline, away from bad actors on the internet or malevolent computers, resulting in no security compromises. On the other hand, hot wallets provide greater convenience at the expense of security, as these wallets frequently float your secret key around when you cut or paste, creating an attack surface for hackers to steal your private key and drain your wallet. Contracts should be carefully signed. We will only sign contracts using the hot wallet or cold wallet address too. Remember that cold wallet address one is only for storage and sending or receiving purchases to your other wallets. While signing transactions, make sure you're only signing them on websites you trust. Proper seed word and private key hygiene are essential. Seed phrases and private keys must be kept safe at all times. These serves as the entry point to your entire asset collection. Do not store your seed phrase on the internet, in the cloud, or in any computer file that could be compromised, whether type or photograph. Many programs and malware can sniff out seed phrase and once discovered can be used to gain access to your entire portfolio. Diversify your assets by storing them in multiple wallets. The final piece of advice is to diversify across wallets simply. To spread the risk of being hacked even further, you could generate two sets of hot or cold wallets, one for each chain. 
So this is all. Stay tuned and subscribe for more uploads like this.